CL says lyrics to Goodbye were meant for Minzy. The K-pop group 21, or the former K-pop group 21, recently released their last MV, Goodbye, and Minzy was not a part of it. I just watched it 20 minutes ago for the first time. So basically it's goodbye to Minzy and not goodbye to us. Am I reading that correctly? Looks like we all got tricked. It's very sad. It is sad, it is emotional. And I do feel that Minzy was still a part of it because the video clips that they were showing were old 21 videos and MVs and Minzy was clearly in it. In fact, there were several shots that showed Minzy's face very clearly. So I felt like it was too Minzy even though she wasn't even there. She's in the whole music video. She's the star of the video. I know. It's a little awkward. It really is. I feel bad for Dara actually because CL sings the first verse and chorus and then Dara gets the bridge and Boom gets the second verse and chorus. Dara gets the bridge and then it goes back to CL. Poor Dara gets the stick in this one and that she just, she's crossing that bridge the whole time. CL made a statement about this song and MV. The song is something that I had written before. After Minzy left YG Entertainment, the three of us were preparing an album. It was a song that was supposed to be like a letter to Minzy. I edited the lyrics so it would be talking to both Minzy and the fans at the same time. It didn't take me long to edit the lyrics because I move fast when someone is believing in me. As I was watching it, I got the feeling that the song is dedicated almost exclusively to Minzy and doesn't really have to do with the fans. Well, I think that it does have something to do with the fans and the people in general, but I feel like it was a members until we meet again. So yes, it was too Minzy, but I didn't really see that until I actually knew that it was about Minzy. It sort of conveniently is geared towards the fans with the title goodbye before you watch the MV. You as a fan are probably thinking that, oh, this is appropriately titled for all of us because this is 21's last song. When in reality, this is goodbye to Minzy and <laughs> we're just here watching them say goodbye to Minzy and oh, it very conveniently fits into this mold of it's goodbye to everybody. When really this has nothing to do with anybody but Minzy. Well, it was clearly- It's a very personal song to, sorry to cut you off, personal to CL and then of course to 21. This is a very personal matter that Minzy's not a part of 21 anymore. To me, watching the video, it became very clear that 21's not over. Well, it is over. I mean, they're going to see each other again, but they're not going to work together again. And she already had the song written for Minzy, and I think that it was just so well written and so emotional to her that it was better to adapt that song than to start over again from scratch and write a whole new song that's just for the fans or just for the group members themselves. But I can totally feel for CL because they worked together for so many years Years, they traveled together, they lived with each other. So it's, you know, how do you say goodbye to that? It's really unfortunate that the girl groups in K-pop seem <laughs> to, at the seven year mark, fall away. And the boy groups don't have the same trend. And 21 seems to be fighting this trend of girl groups breaking up. And I can tell CL wants to keep this shit together. I'm gonna make a bold prediction here and don't take my word for it. This is just my thinking. But as I was watching that video, I can tell they're gonna come back with an album. It might not be right away. It might not be for another six months or a year, but Pac Bomb's gonna be back. It's gonna be three of them. And they are going to lay down a fucking ridiculously awesome album for the fans, even if it's only a couple songs. Blackpink may be YG's new girl group and Blackpink's got a super bright future, but how can 21 make a song like this, song written for Minzy, the rest of them don't seem to have any beef with each other and they're not gonna make any more music together ever? Like that's really hard to believe for me. Well, the only reason I would actually agree with what you were saying is they actually had a bunch of songs written for an album. Like they wrote this while they were preparing for an album. They recorded this, this was the only song that they actually had recorded when Pac Bohm decided she wasn't going to renew her contract. And that's the hiccup, because if Pac Bohm isn't going to renew her contract, there is no future for 21. And I think that's possibly why she had such a big role in this music video, is maybe, you know, he's just like trying to say, come on, come back with us, stay employed under our entertainment company. So do you think it's more that YG wants her back, Pac Bohm doesn't want to go back, or that Pac Bohm would 
gladly go back to YG and continue with 21. And YG is the one putting up the barrier saying, no, no way. We got to work things out because of your past that's happened with the drugs, etc." No, I think it's Pac Boom. I think it's Boom that's been like, listen, you pulled me out of everything. You didn't let me work for like two years or something like that. And you only make money when you work in K-pop. So that was like two years where she's living off of who knows? Royalties. It makes sense for Bum to try to go out shopping and see the best deal that she can get for herself in the future. Yeah, but I was just checking on Minzy's Wikipedia and seeing how she's doing. It looks like a bigger challenge than all of us can really understand when people go from being in a very successful group over in Korea to going out on a solo career. I mean, here's Sia, one of the biggest names in K-pop and she traveled around North America doing a tour. I'm sure it was very successful and it did profit, like it was not in the red, it was in the green in terms of profit margin, but we still have yet to figure out how well they did. We're not sure still. I feel like we're not sure. We can say that she did well. We don't know. And Minzy's not as big a star as CL, and so she's over there gonna do a reality show season two with the name of Honey's Slam Dunk something. I don't know what it's called. But that's not really that popular to most people. That's just going to air at some time slot on some night on a Korean TV channel. It just looks like Minzy's having trouble figuring out who she is and making music that's really her own because she still has now this other entertainment company to deal with. I guess my point is it would be way easier for Pac Bomb just to go back 21, 21, make fans happy, everybody's happy, and uh, we get on with our lives. <laughs> that would be idealistic. I personally would love that, but I don't actually see that happening. There's a reason that Minzy left, there's a reason that Bomb left, and I know that not everything is perfect in the world of K-pop in the world of what they're allowed to do, the freedom that they have in making their own music, their freedom to go out and do promotion work. I have to say, there are a lot of goodbye songs going out in K-pop land right around this era because of Big Bang and IOI and now 21, but I really like this song. I feel that if I was doing some sort of acoustic karaoke act, that this would be my choice of a song. It's so stripped down, it's so raw and bare and beautifully tragic. It's a very, very strong ending song if in fact they are ending. Just the thought of them ending makes me tear up. Comments, you guys. We got into some interesting dialogue there. I wasn't actually expecting to discuss right here, but I am very curious as to whether or not 21 will now continue on after watching that MV. And I want to know your thoughts on the MV itself. Do you love the song? Do you feel that Dara got the shaft? What are your thoughts? Comments down below. Click the like button while you're down there. Thank you so much for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL and don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.